I'm going to be playing with the Silly Sponge. This is not the original Silly Sponge because there was no way I was going to pay $9.90 for a piece of silicone. So I got mine off of AliExpress. I have used this, I think, only once since I got it. And I thought I would show you guys on camera how I use it um, and my thoughts on it. So the other day I watched Bunny, Graveyard Girl, she also did a review on this and a few people in her comment section said she was doing it wrong, that you're supposed to use this to apply foundation to your face and then blend it out with a brush or a beauty blender. So that's what I'm going to use it for because when you try to use it as a beauty blender you get very patchy and your foundation does not stick very well to your face. So I'm going to be using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in the shade Ivory. And I have already primed my skin, did some color correcting, and have my eyebrows on. That's probably why I look a little bit strange. And I'm going to start out with about that much. And I'm going to take the rounded side of the Silly Sponge and take some product on there and just start kind of spreading it on the face. So I think I'm going to do this side with the Silly Sponge and the other side just with a Beauty Blender and we will compare it. I'm going to take a little more. Okay. This is what it looks like after you use it. I guess I can kind of use some of that product off of it so I don't waste any. And then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and blend that out. Okay, let me just blend out the little bit that was left over. Okay, so there is the side with the Scylla sponge, and that is how much product from the original product I have left. It's a pretty decent amount, it really didn't take that much to cover my face. Now I'm going to go in on the other side just using the Beauty Blender with no Scylla sponge. Okay, and this is the side that I use just the Beauty Blender on. So there is Silly Sponge and there is Beauty Blender. Let's see. I don't really see that much of a difference. I, the one difference I would say I noticed was that I had to use the rest of the product that was on my hand for this side of my face, while on this side with the Silly Sponge, I only had to go in once into the product and then use that to spread on my face. So, all in all, I think it does okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I will come back on and share my final thoughts with you guys. Okay guys, so all in all, I wouldn't say this is exactly a bad product, but I can definitely say that I'm not going to be reaching for this over a beauty blender. 
I just feel it's kind of an unnecessary step. Yes, it may help you save a little bit of product, but I don't think that it's really worth the price that you have to pay for the original. I mean, if you want to get one of these, I got this off AliExpress for 98 cents, then sure. But don't waste $10 on a piece of silicone that's going to help you spread around your makeup. You can also use your fingers for that or a brush. It's really not that necessary and I don't understand the hype behind this product. Like I said, I'm not saying it's bad, it didn't do a bad job, it did what it was supposed to do, I just think it's really unnecessary. So, now those are my thoughts on the Silly Sponge. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be a button probably around here. And thank you again so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.